In other news, some employees in the industrial sector on Grand Bahama have shared some concerns over their employment status as casual workers instead of permanent employees. This has prohibited them from working full-time hours and receiving full employee benefits. Just recently, we broke the news of former employees of an industrial giant on the island who alleges that they were wrongfully terminated because they refused to work more hours as requested by the employer with no extra pay. Now we brought these concerns to Labor Director Robert Farkasin, who says the government is currently reviewing policies and procedures to address these concerns on Grand Bahama. The government has initiated some discussions with the other um, industry um, in Grand Bahama, who has a, um, a, a formula whereby um, certain classes of workers are done on a on-call basis. So we are trying to partner with these organizations with a view to reviewing their policies and procedures um, and to ensure that there is a greater degree of certainty in the, in the labor market for the young people. And when it comes to the overall employment rate on the island, Farkasin revealing that his department is working with businesses to help find ways of providing more employment opportunities and residents should expect to see a turnaround within the first three months of 2023. Coming off the recent successful job fair, uh, we have had uh, a number of interests um, in Grand Bahama. We have questions we want to early in next year um, partner with us again to provide more job opportunities for the people in Guan Bahama. We're in the planning stages now and we look forward to having another major job fair in Guan Bahama um, in the first quarter.